Hey everybody, JR Spisa here with another box break video. And today we're doing the 2019 Topps Heritage Mega Box. So this one's got 15 packs plus an exclusive bonus pack with three Heritage Chrome cards numbered 101 to 200. Let's see. Here's your odds if you can see it without the glare there. Sorry about that glare. That uh, video just comes out better if I have my flash on when I do it. So. Anyways, hey, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Please like the video. Check out all my other videos. Uh, for my current subscribers and people who are familiar with my videos, you know that I do all kinds of stuff, including lots of vintage, um, throwback stuff, lots of non-sport stuff, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic the Gathering, wrestling, uh, Garbage Pail Kids, what else? The list goes on for me. So uh, I do some different toy reviews and stuff like that, mostly for my kids because they think it's fun. All right, that's how you get your stuff. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions or comments or suggestions, I'd be happy to happy to hear hear what you'd like to see and so on and so forth. Anyways, all right, talking and doing this is too hard. So I'm just gonna do this first. Uh, uh, I'll go through later and check on the numbers and see if I got any short prints and so on and so forth. So try to get through this kind of quick so that way I don't have... Oh, there's a cloth card right there. So a cloth test card. Insert Reese Hopkins. Pretty cool. Alrighty. And we'll open up this pack last here. That's your three chrome cards. Uh, I got a whole bunch of vintage stuff I've been kind of waiting to open. In fact, I was going to open some right now, but I decided um, I decided to open up this instead. So chances are if I get an insert in a pack like that, then I don't have a high number or a photo variation or an error or whatever. So, But if I get a pack where I don't, have something then we will look at the number like that one probably at yeah, 459 so that's a high number um, we'll look at the back real fast and just see still waiting on that 381 card order from PSA uh, like I said in my last video uh, that I actually did last night um, it's done I just it's almost 3200 bucks it wasn't supposed to be done until um, July, because their new 85 day service level. So it wasn't supposed to be done until July. And so I've been saving, you know, like 500 bucks a month. So I'm ready to pay for it in July. And it got done like April 2nd. So that's going to take a minute to get back. So I don't have credit cards and all that crap to just put it on, which would be so cool if I did, but you know. So it's going to have to wait until I can pay for it. Anybody would like to make a $3,200 donation, I'd be glad to borrow the money from you. Well, if it's a donation, it's not really a borrowing, so I suppose. The Ramirez, New Age Performers, those are pretty cool. I remember those old, uh, the old insert set. They made an insert set in that style. Obviously, you know, they do all the stuff in the style of something old. But I got a bunch more of this stuff too. We'll probably open up on camera here and there and have some fun. That might be a high number. Yep, 471 on Charlie Blackman there. I got another order, big order, getting ready to go out to PSA again. So I got to hurry up and get this one back so I can afford to pay for the other one. It's going to be another, it's going to be a, a 500 plus. So this time I'm going to pay for it up front so that way when it's done they can just ship it instead of, uh, you know, this happening again. Alrighty. 
Yeah, leave a comment below if you pulled something awesome out of one of these blaster boxes, one of the retail ones. You know, once in a while I see something good come out of them. You know, you'll see like a, you know, a good auto. Of course, they usually save the really good stuff for the hobby boxes, but sometimes, sometimes, there's another one, Paul DeJong, that's a high number. Sometimes you get something decent. Mike Clevenger, check him out on YouTube. He's a pretty funny guy. Yeah, with all these box breaks I'm doing, uh, I'm taking all the cards, uh, you know, the, the decent ones, like the, you know, the better stuff, the really good ones, like the Trouts and Harper, the Buster Posey scratch off, um, Chris Bryant, you know, Aaron Judge. If I get a really neat uh, insert of somebody other than those guys, like, you know, uh, I don't know, Francisco Lindor, if it's a cool insert or whatever. I might get that one graded too. But I've, I've been just kind of on this kick with with getting modern stuff graded. And even Junk Wax era stuff. And I'll tell you um, who kind of got me on it. There's another YouTuber. His name is uh, Nolan Klein. I subscribed to him because I think we should all subscribe to, you know, each other just to help help us out. But anyways, he does. Uh, he likes opening junk wax, and he's a younger guy, younger than me. But um, he opens up some junk wax and gets it graded, and it's pretty fun. So, you know, getting the Hall of Famers and stuff. So I was like, that's a great idea because you know, when it comes right down to it, yeah, there's a lot of the stuff that's available, but that stuff, that stuff wasn't always gym mint coming out of packs, and it sits around a long time. I mean, you know, certain things happen, like you know, the glossy cards get stuck together. Um, what else? Hey, there's another uh, cloth. The glossy cards get stuck together for one, and then you lose paper stock on the front and back of some things. It's horrible for like the 93 um, products with Jeter's Rookie. I bought a lot, opened a lot, and Upper Deck's killing me, man. And uh, what else? I think Select was a rough one occasionally. It just depends on if the stuff is, how it's stored all over these years. Um, I don't know if that's a I don't. I wouldn't think that that would be a parallel on the top, but the blue Phillies is weird. Nope. Okay. Anyways, um, so the stuff doesn't come out of the packs in gem mint condition back then. So it's fun to open that up, and and I, I think he's on to something. You know, like you know, there's low pops uh, on a lot of that stuff. You know, like the late '80s, early '90s stuff. And you know, if you watch his videos, uh, his YouTube channel is called Elite Co. Three, and I'll I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. But um, you know, it's I, I didn't realize how hard it was to pull uh, to to get a Jim Mint Ten on an '89 Donruss Griffey, which they probably made over a million of. Uh, hey, there's a trout, and I bet you that's a high number. Yep, 485. That one's gonna go to PSA. Um, but anyways, um. They're really low pop report on those things. Those are tough to get in a 10. So, I got unopened cases of junk wax. And I'm going to start going through it. And uh, same thing with, like, the Biggio rookie. Like, uh, he submitted a bunch and he got one. But then, you know, I look at the pop reports on all this stuff. And it, it's really low pop reports. So, um, so I was like, well, dang, I'm going to start I'm gonna start setting this crap in. And, uh, and trying for some 10s because... You know, at the end of the day, I do I do this for two reasons. One reason because I love it, and then the second reason is because, um, you know, I need to to make some money to pay for the stuff that I'm getting graded that I'm keeping. So it kind of balances out, you know. So I'll get you know the cards I, I'm not particularly fond of, the players that are great, but I don't collect graded. Hope for tens, um, and then uh, and then take them and sell them to try to pay for the next. The, met, the next batch of cards and if you guys uh, are on YouTube you know and you watch my other videos you know I put all my stuff on YouTube or not, sorry YouTube eBay not YouTube sorry I'm trying to look at codes and uh, talk at the same time and I just I told you about the problem I have talking and doing things apparently so anyways uh, my user ID on eBay is J R S P I C C I and it's just my name JRSPC I'm a junior that's why I go by JR, but my real name's Frank, so that's why it's uh, Frank Species, is a channel name. But I do have a JR Species channel that I started first, and then I accidentally started this Frank Species one on my phone. Long story short, I ended up uploading videos, 
And after I realized it, I was like, well, dang, I already got subscribers. I already got, um, I got subscribers. I already got views. I don't want to, I don't want to cancel this channel now. So I said, whatever, I'll just keep it. So I may use the other one for some things, but there's a lot of fun stuff on that one too. Like a lot of box breaks and stuff. So, so I encourage you to check the other channel out too. So this was something. It's the code is a uh, 22. So I don't know if it's a photo variation or what I'm missing here, but this is something. I have to look up the code. If anybody knows off the top of your head, you know, feel free to to add it to the description. But okay, so we'll check that out. Anyways, this is fun. I love uh, ripping stuff and uh, and this whole new um, this whole new getting uh, stuff graded, the new stuff graded is is a lot of fun. Sean Newcomb. Yeah, so again, go check out uh, Mini Margot. Go check out Elite Co. 3. Um, it'll be in the description. There's a Corey Seeger. And, oh, yeah, there you go. That's a pretty nice refractor. That one's numbered at 570. So I'll probably get that Corey Seeger graded too. Uh, anyways, thanks for, for checking out this video, guys. Uh, look, look forward to that uh, 381 return that's going to be real fun lots of mickey mantles uh, original stuff lots of hall of fame rookies um i started getting all my jeter um for those who don't know i'm a big jeter fan big mets fan big mickey mantle fan uh for past guys and so i started getting all my jeter cards graded i've got tons of his early all the 90s the really tough inserts and stuff like that so those, um, I got to dig out. I know I got mere golds in there. I don't know what years, uh, if they're totally certified, pinnacle certified, slug certified. But I know I got some of those, and I got tons of his tough, tough inserts. So I'm going to get all those graded. But this order I have right now is a lot of Jeters. It's also got a lot of Pokemon, um, probably 100 Pokemon cards in it. Uh, but then there's lots of great Hall of Fame um, rookies, vintage cards. Like I said, the Mantles. And uh, and then some other fun stuff. So that'll be a great one. Uh, I'll probably do that one in the 100 card uh, increments because my phone can only uh, save so much in a video. So anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video and go watch some more videos. All right, guys. Have a good day. Bye.